string toys. I love them. <laughs> I've got quite a few in my collection, but I thought I'd just show you half a dozen of favourite string toys. And I mean, that's a pipe as well. I've had that amongst pipes, but it's mostly string, which I'm, I'm concentrating on. And they go back a long way, too. A very early string toy would be this one here, which I picked up in Greenland, would you believe? In the early days, in fact, they still do it there. They haven't got any plants up in Greenland to go from. So this is, I think, uh, taken from seal skin. Extraordinary. This is a simple little puzzle where you get the two figures on the, on the same loop. But it shows that even in primitive cultures, they have string. And, of course, it's been shown from this book that I used to work on, Cat's Cradles, that... All over the world, every culture, particularly the, the, some of the very early cultures, and one of the primitive ones, have been having, making string toys for thousands and thousands of years. And in countries like Greenland, they would have had to make the string as they did here from, from seal skin. We can go back a long way. Also on that trip, I was in Iceland and came across another string toy, which is a little frame. It's got a modern type string. You attach that to something like a chair leg or a pipe or something or a hook on the, so you can't touch it and you ignore that. And what you're supposed to do is find a way of unraveling that. And it does come undone without having to go over the end, which is a fixed piece. It's quite a bit of unweaving to, to get it to release itself. And eventually the, the piece of wood comes away. So a nice little puzzle. There's quite a number of puzzles in the world out there which rely on string. Another great user of string are magicians, and there's lots and lots of magicians' ones. They go for a thicker string, mostly rope, and here's an example of a magician's magic trick. This is a rope which will stay roughly upright if I hold it like that, and then abracadabra, it collapses. Well, yes, I think, would you see how it's worked? I wouldn't show you though, of course. Well, this one here, which um, I used to do when I was doing magic, and I can't remember ever actually performing it, actually, but it's got ropes of different lengths and different colours, and it's got a knot that slides up and down secretly. There we are, there's a knot. I'm revealing the knot now. It's part of the magic trick. But it was a lot of fun to... And small children could have fun with it, too. It's only soft ropes, and you make sure they don't choke on it or anything. But it's a nice little thing to play with. That's a typical magician's prop. And occasionally I'd find that some of the secrets going on in these ropes which were doing funny things and suddenly becoming a part. And the answer was, it's because there's a magnet on each end. Look at that, a little barrel magnet hits together and then you don't notice it's there when it's... So, a lot of fun in the magic world as well. And then coming right up to date, we've got string toys like this one here, which is superb. It's got a piece of string which, when you turn the switch on... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And you put your hand in the thing and make it do all sorts of weird, strange, strange things. Put your head through it as well, so it's very nice. So that's a very modern string toy. And the last one to show is, is also a very modern one. Is Well, I used to call it String Ray because Paul Friedland invented this about 20 years ago. It's, it's got a piece of string which does beautiful patterns, makes what they call standing waves when you turn it on. So we'll flip it on. And if you bring them together, it forms a nice big oval like that. And when you pull them further away, at a certain point where this will... Yes. If we didn't like this a bit, we'll also see there's some LEDs here which are playing on the actual form and make rather nice patterns. You can vary the speed of the thing so I can make it go very slowly and very fast. That's going very slowly and now we're going very fast and we're getting colours on it. So string toys are a lovely subject, I think, and uh, I've got quite a few more to show, but I've done some more research, but that's a good start. And aren't they a variety too? Strings, ancient and modern.